Top of the morning to you, Western Slope. We're seeing a setup different than what we've seen all week. We've seen record breaking temperatures. Now a cold front's moving through. This is going to be dropping those temperatures, bringing moisture ahead of that front, expecting those showers for today. As we start to take a look ahead, we're going to start seeing another low pressure form over the Pacific Ocean to move some moisture in to help aid some of these systems that we're going to start seeing this upcoming weekend. But overall, we're going to track some of this moisture out and we're going to pick back up from where we left off yesterday. We had this moisture inflow uh, into the Four Corners region and this is where we're picking up to see those showers right now. Actually, the moisture's present. We're going to see those showers pretty much all day for chances of showers. We're going to be seeing these are kind of, uh, you know, just painting out just a little bit this morning, weakening out slightly as they continue to move a little bit to the northeast. But this is what we're going to see, little pockets of moisture and precipitation for today. We're going to be watching out for about an 80% chance as we get into the afternoon for these showers to pretty much continue. Light precipitation values are going to be associated with this. The higher elevations are going to get some mixed precipitation. So over the Grand Mesa, uh, parts over the southern part of Mesa County and the higher elevations, even Montrose County, we'll see those showers as well for today. We will see these showers in the afternoon with that 80% chance. These are very widely scattered showers. So if you do see something uh, with a, any kind of heavier precipitation, don't expect it to too, last too much or last too long. We're relying on orographic lifting. So pretty much a, uh, a land feature could create a kind of a little bit more concentrated area of precipitation for harder rainfall. So if you do see a little bit harder rainfall, don't worry, it will move out and you'll be left with mostly just some drizzles for today. We're going to be seeing quite a wet afternoon tonight. We're going to clear up slightly before we start seeing chances for showers again starting out tomorrow morning. So we will see some snow in the forecast expected as we drop in temperature tonight, getting down into the 30s and the overnight lows after 5 a.m. And then as we warm up to 10 a.m., well, everything's going to be rain by then for tomorrow. Snow values, though, expected for this weekend. We're going to see this along that I-70 corridor in the central mountains, but most of this is going to be down south in the San Juan mountain range. We're expected to get um, upwards of a foot in some of those higher elevation mountain terrains over in the San Juans. I'm not ruling out any kind of potential for a lot of snow here along that I-70 corridor as well in the central mountains. We're already seeing some winter storm warnings that's going to raise travel concerns this upcoming weekend along that I-70 corridor. Everything in the pink is going to be a winter storm warning. But as we take a look ahead, well, we're going to be dropping off in temperature for the next few days for that Discovery Auto 7-day forecast. We're going to be in the 50s today, but 